Hi guys, it's me Vivek and uh, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to increase your Wi-Fi strength. Well, the theory is pretty much simple. The aluminum foil, which most of you guys might be having at home, uh, is something that reflects the Wi-Fi waves. So you need to put, make it in a curved shape and put it beside your antenna, your uh, Wi-Fi antenna, and then direct it towards your device like an iPod or a laptop or something. So, yeah, you can do this in many ways. Like, in many ways, like you can cut out a triangle piece of aluminum foil, this is not aluminum foil of course because I can't waste any aluminum foil and I have a little left so yeah you need to cut, out, cut it out in a triangle shape and then you can like imagine this to be the antenna and you can put the aluminum foil on your antenna well this brings out a curved shape and also increases the strength but not up to the mark it increases like by 15 percentage or something so uh, yeah the more accurate the curve is more will be the increase in the strength and that's the problem I do not know actually how to calculate the curve because I do not know the physics behind it now I got something from the internet which will perfectly solve my problem it's actually a picture it's pretty much funny <laughs> well, well I'll tell you how this picture helps to get the perfect curve this is the curve that the aluminum foil is supposed to be bent to and this is the perfect curve. Well, to get this picture, I've given a link in the description. You have to go to that link and insert the picture in your desktop or somewhere. And then uh, open it on Microsoft Word and increase the size of it. Because more, this, more will be the size, uh, it will be more better. This is what you're going to get in the end. And this is the perfect curve that you need for your uh, reflection. This is the aluminum foil. Well, I will show you how it is made. You will realize how the picture brings the exact curve when you see the way it's made. First, you need to uh, cut it into two from here. Then take something which is harder than a paper. Like I've taken uh, the binding of my school book. That's perfect for this purpose. Then uh, you'll have to stick this on one side of this cardboard or whatever it is and then the aluminum foil on the other side but after doing that you'll get something like this uh, I do not know why it's curved already anyway it's supposed to do the same with this one also but not supposed to stick any aluminum foil behind it so now you have to cut this through the border the same with this and then you'll get two things like this with the aluminum foil behind this one and then after that you will have to make you have to cut through these lines not exactly like a hole I mean, you're not supposed to make a hole exactly, you're supposed to make a small gap like this. I hope you understood what. And then you have to insert this little uh, projections or whatever you call it through this. Well, after doing that, you'll have to make two holes on those plus marks and then, yeah, you're done. Now all that you need to do is put it on your antenna. Put it on your Wi-Fi antenna. Well, yeah, that's my Christmas tree. It's big. Well, yeah, over here, this is my... DSO. Yeah. I like this. Well, yeah, that's done. I just wanted to show you the difference it makes in the Wi Fi signal strength. Now it's 99 percentage for me, which is the maximum that you can get. You can see a signal 99 quality, excellent security. Oh. Yeah, this is another technique which will keep your neighbors away from hacking your DSO. Honestly, I have actually tried to do that, and I know many of my friends who is already using the neighbor's DSL. Uh, it's to name your DSL something which is related to the government or something like this. Like, like what I've done over here is send me a police van. It looks pretty really stupid, but I swear, no one's ever gonna try to hack this DSL. So I also want to show you the difference it makes in my um, Wi Fi range on my iPod. Well, I think you can see this is the DSL Wi Fi. Whatever. It asks for the password, ask if I'm gonna get it. Stupid. Ah, I'm gonna change the password anyway. Uh, incorrect password. <laughs> the password is correct. It's just that I can't get it, and they say incorrect password, idiots. I'll tap once again. Yeah, that's what they say. Now I'm gonna put that little magic reflector. Ah, oh, stupid song. Forgot about that. Yeah, I was editing those videos. Anyway, 
This is our little magic reflector. Directed towards your device. Yep, that's pretty much right. Now let's see. I was talking about what you got. I was talking about what you got. Now they're gonna say the same password is correct. Join. Yep. As you can see, joined with full range. Whoa, man. Awesome. Uh, thanks for watching you guys, so I showed you the difference in both my laptop and my iPod. It's gonna make a big difference. Hope you like this video. Bye.